up, my grandfather would do a lot of design things. He would build, um, he would paint, he would draw, he did all those things. He tried to teach me how to do those things. And I was so like heavy minded on just going um, pre-med and like I was gonna go to med school. And so I didn't really um, get into that until probably my senior year of high school is when I like actually started to like do drawings and paintings and building stuff. But it was kind of just a hobby. Um, I realized pre-med was not for me. I was not built for that. <laughs> and so I decided just to take a leap of faith and go into a passion that I didn't really know I had until later in life. It was very, very scary. But when I submitted my application, I felt so good about it. The second research project um, is actually a funded fellowship and I got to pick what I wanted to do. So I have decided to do shoe design in virtual reality. They're just so fascinating. <laughs> I know that sounds like I don't Are you know. A sneaker head yeah, I'm kind of a sneakerhead. Um, I don't have the funds to be a sneakerhead, but I do love shoes and not even just sneakers, like shoes in general, like heels and flats. And it's something that you have to walk on every day. Like you, you know, buying just a pair of shoes off of, you know, Amazon or wherever that costs you 20 bucks are probably not going to be that great and not that great of quality. Most of the time, in the beginning stages, it's a lot of research. Researching, you know, how, what materials you're gonna use, or, you know, how to actually design a shoe. Like, I had to uh, find a book on basically how to design shoes, and it talks about how you should um, make a last, a shoe last, um, and things like that. And then once you get all the research you feel like you need, then that's when you go into the drawing aspect of like, okay, what do I want the shoe to look like, or shoes, you know, do I want it to have these colors? Do I want it to have some kind of really cool, you know, thing popping out of it? Um, do I want the outer sole to have some really cool design on it? Or do you just want to be super simple? after that is usually CAD modeling or prototyping. Uh, I usually do a lot of prototyping before, so that could be with paper or cardboard or clay or anything that you can like really get your hands on super quick. And then that's when the CAD modeling, you know, building it from the ground up and then putting it into a rendering program to make it look real life. It means a lot. Like these are things that I can put on my resume that will help me uh, get a job in a very competitive field. Design is very, very competitive. So it kind of puts me at a spot to where I can say, hey, I have this experience with research and it's nice just to get experience. It's nice to be able to learn applications on their own. Design you can't do just based on a textbook. You can't just open the pages and study pages all day long. Like you actually have to get your hands in there and like learn how to use, you know, a cutting board and um, all those applications like SolidWorks and Rhino. It's definitely an experience that you would not get in any other type of college or major. It's so crazy to think that like people can think like that, that people can just have a question and by the end of, you know, the summertime have an execution of that question. It's very rewarding as well <laughs> to see like that I spent, you know, 16 weeks on this and to know that my work is going to be good enough to get me to the next step. <laughs>